Okay, so I went to the city council meeting. That meeting, they actually did bring up the uh, purple bags, but the first uh, two hours was about personal use of uh, city-owned vehicles. Um, so, you know, you had Kadeem, you had all the guys that were really pushing on, uh, and also uh, the, the, the president of the city council. So do you use uh, city vehicles for personal use um, and how often do you use it for? Yeah, has it know, changed since this? It has, it has changed, right? So I, I am no longer using the city vehicle for any type of personal use um, at all, uh, pretty much. Now, I mean, that doesn't include driving from home to city hall. You know, obviously that's that's necessary, but you have to think about how much activity the mayor is involved with on a daily basis, driving all parts of the city. The vehicle is a motor pool vehicle. Again, the city council is more concerned about the, you know, mileage and the gasoline in a motor pool vehicle. And they spent two hours talking about that instead of talking about saving every citizen in the city of Fall River, 10 bucks a month potentially, and the inconvenience of buying purple bags. So again, I think the public has the right to question the motives of the city councilors, because quite frankly, that's a bunch of nonsense, okay? It's, a, again, a personal attack, it's nitpicking, it's their personal motivations that they don't like me, and they wanted to, again, try and, bat and embarrass me. And when Councillor Ponte uh, saw that things weren't going his way, I think everybody can agree that he lost his temper. He lost his temperament. Not even to be the city council president does he have the temperament uh, in place. I mean, it was just it was an embarrassment, quite frankly. Uh, but the reality is there's been personal use. There was no requirement. There was never any any contingencies upon that. The vehicle is not just used by me. It's been used even by other city councilors. It's used by buildings department. It's used by my staff if we have to take a trip up to Boston or Worcester like we did yesterday. Um, and the mayor is a 24-hour job. Uh, you know, I've done everything I can. The, the vehicle is not um, has not been involved in, in any kind of uh, uh, nefarious activity or anything like that. So I've done my my um, my best to safeguard the city vehicle process. I do have a personal vehicle that I have access to as well. So we'll just we'll just make it very clear on when and, and where um, that personal vehicle is is uh, going to be used and when and where the city vehicle is going to be used. I think that solves that problem. Let's move on to getting rid of purple bags instead of spending another two hours on my personal use of the vehicle. You know, I think these people are a little bit obsessed sometimes. They want to know how, what time and where I've gone to restaurants in Providence and this other stuff. I mean, give me a break. It's again, it's nitpicking. It's uh, it's not doing the work of the people of Fall River. Uh, I don't see these city councilors going to the St. Anne's Parish meeting. I don't see them staying and being at a, a Veterans Day parade or staying afterwards. Some of them do. Two out of nine, I think, were there. I mean, that's a shame. Veterans Day, you don't have any representation from the city council or a majority of them that stay stay for the entire uh, Veterans Day service. Come on. I mean, this is the stuff that people really, I think, need to open their eyes to and see that there is a bunch of people that are going like this, and they want to and they want to wham 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 all day long because they're not getting their way. They're not they're not doing the job of the people. I do the job of the people. Look at the record. Look at the track record. That's all you have to do. And I'm not saying it in a cocky way. The facts are the facts. And you know what? I've got the right to be able to defend myself and say, you know what? Look, this is the real reality of the city of Fall River. We rent that half a million dollars. Today we have a surplus of $8 million. We had the fee, $120 trash fee. We privatized trash, and now we don't. Those are the real facts that people care about every single day. Durfee High School is being rebuilt. Roads are being done. This is the stuff people care about. You know, I don't know what these other people can claim to have accomplished. I really don't. So I've got the right to defend myself as the mayor of the city and say, we've done the people's business. And I'm proud of my record. And I'm proud to ask people to vote for me again. I've got a personal issue that we've got to handle. It's obvious. Everybody knows about it in the state of Massachusetts. But I will deal with that. I will deal with it separately. And I want to continue to do my job. Not because I want to hold on to power. It's because I want to make sure that the city is set up for the next generation of success. Not the same people that have been recycled over 30 years of the people that have been in the same positions for 30 years. That doesn't make sense. And you can see it. It's obvious when people lose their minds over simple things like contracts being canceled, which happens every single day. I know when other people get fired, they don't have an opportunity to have an hour on a radio station to defend themselves. And then they have every radio show defend them, defend this person. I, it's just mind-boggling sometimes. And you have to sit back and actually laugh at the absurdity 
of this situation, at the absurdity of these people and the lengths they're willing to go to grip power. 